students uh, coming to the next topic uh, in the subject computer programming is decision statements so there are uh, five different decision statements that are there uh, in C programming actually the main use of these decision statements are to make decision among alternative paths if they are having more than one path uh, in that cases we will go for the decision statements so the decision statements are used to make a decision to make a decision among the alternative paths alternative paths so the different decision statements are simple if statement so just you can call it as a if statement and uh, if else statement if else statement next nested if else statement fourth one else if statement so this is if else and here else if else if statement and the fifth one switch statement so these are the five different decision statements you call in the c programming so these decision statements are used to make decision among uh, different paths so if statement if else nested if else else if and the switch statement now let us see one by one the first is the simple if statement so uh, here i'll explain what is an if statement and i'll write the syntax for this if, if statement and the flow chart and program so for each statement i'll write syntax flow chart and the program now coming to the if statement so here the if statement uh, the if this if you call it as a keyword if is a keyword use it to execute a set of statements so this if will be used to execute a set of statements in the program when the logical condition is true so whenever the condition is true then only it executes the uh, set of the statements in the program when the logical condition is true let me write the syntax for this uh, if statement syntax so if you see the syntax and if you see the flow chart uh, after that program then you will clearly understood what is an if statement so here if condition so whenever this condition is satisfied whenever the condition within this parenthesis is satisfied then only it execute the series of statements series of statements so these are all some series of statements were present in the if condition so within this loop uh, within this braces so this you call it as an if statement whenever the series of uh, whenever the condition is satisfied then only it executes otherwise it doesn't enter into this block let write let's see the flow chart for this if statement so first it checks the condition so whenever the condition is true whenever the condition is true then only it executes the statements if condition is false it doesn't enter into this block it skips that statements block and continue with the remaining steps in the program so this is about the if statement now let us see the program for the if statement let me write the program so here i am writing the program for uh, checking whether a number is greater than 50 or not so checking whether a number is greater than 
50 or not. So now I am writing the program. So hash include stdio dot h. Now writing the main program. Now here I am declaring one variable int a. So a is a variable of data type uh, integer. Now printf. Enter a number. First you enter a number in the keyboard. Enter a number. So that a number whatever you enter that has to be read from the keyboard. So if you want to read the data from the keyboard you have to write this scanf. Percentile A. Means in that address particular address location some uh, whatever you entered from the keyboard suppose some 10 value is entered. So that 10 value will be stored in some uh, there's a 10 value stored in some particular address location like 1, 2, 3, 4, some address location. So ampersand A specifies the address of that particular location. So in that particular address location, a value will be stored. So that is a scan of percentile D. This is an integer uh, format stream. So after entering the keyword, it has to check uh, after entering the variable it has to check the if condition we have to use. Whatever the value that we entered in this location is greater than 50 or not. If that value is greater than 50, then only it has to execute the statements what are present within the block. So, if it is greater than 50, then that value is, you have to write, it is greater than 50 comma a close the if statement and close the main block so this is how to use a if now what, what will be the output for this program suppose if the first is it starts from the main program so int a enter a number that will be appeared on the screen because it is a printf enter a number so scanf means that value is, should be read from the keyboard so now i entered a value suppose it is 60 i entered now it is checking if condition has to check if 60 is greater than 50 or not right 60 is greater than 50 then it executes this st statement what it's saying 60 percentile d means that integer has to be entered 60 is greater than 50 so this again i am again i am entering a number enter a number so now second time i am entering a number suppose it is a 20 i entered so that i read from the keyboard so in the keyboard i entered a 20 number now it is checking is 20 is greater than 50 no, it is not greater than 50. So, it, it skips from this if condition. Now, here no output. Because 20 is not greater than 50. So, it doesn't execute this statement. So, this is about the if statement. So, in the next video, uh, I will explain the remaining decision statements. Thank you.